everyone and welcome back to my channel. I saw that I have a few new subscribers. Welcome, thank you for subscribing and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the content that I'm going to upload this year. And I wanted to do this video in January but I didn't. So I do it in the beginning of February which is still fine. We still have a lot of months <laughs> to go before the end of the year. So these are my reading goals for this year and also they're connected with my language learning goals a little bit because for me language learning is... Yeah, the goal is mostly to read books, so I want to connect these two uh, goals together. And also, I will show you my TBR for 2024. Let's start with the goals for this year. Uh, I have a couple, and uh, the first goal is the same like last year and the year before that, and it's just to read 50 books. Now, so far, I've never read 50 books in a year, but it's just a goal that I or it's just a number that I like and last year I read 30 books and I'm really happy with that uh, number and with the books that I've read so it's not that I'm going to um, read a lot of <laughs> books quickly because I want to reach my goal this year um, but yeah I think 50 books if I would finish a book every week it should be fine but so far in January I already uh, like behind on this goal but it's fine it's just the first goal that I have, 50 books. The most important goal is that in th those 50 books I want to read in multiple languages. And the languages that I'm mostly focused on are Dutch, English, but also Russian. I want to read multiple books in Russian this year, so it's something that I'm going to work on. And for the people that started watching me and don't know, I am a native Russian speaker. I was born in Russia, so it's not that I, it is a language that I'm currently learning. But it's a language that I haven't read like really uh, difficult literature in because I moved from Russia when I was a child. So it's, it takes me a longer time to read or finish a book in Russian than it is like in Dutch or English. So that's why it's one of my goals to read Russian literature in Russian and to improve my uh, speed and reading skills in this language. So that's why. <laughs> Then other languages that I want to read in are Spanish and Japanese. So in Japanese, uh, it's it's the language that I read the longest in, I think, in the time, in, like in reading speeds. And um, it's because it's very difficult. <laughs> so it's something that I want to improve this year. Last year, I wanted to read three books. Uh, I started reading three different books, but I fin didn't finish any of them. So that's not great. <laughs> so this year, I want to at least finish the book that I started last year and I'm still like in chapter one so I will actually read this entire book this year and uh, find two other books uh, more at my level to also read and to read more on my Kindle because I have a lot of Japanese books on my Kindle so I want to use that more and in Spanish I started also two books the first Harry Potter book and uh, El Principito so The Little Prince so The Little Prince I almost finished so I'm going to reread it and yeah just check everything that i have learned in a book and reread it this year and then i'm on chapter three i think in harry potter so i'm going to like skim read through the first three chapters and then finish the rest of the book this year that's my goal and find a third book to read so i do have one book that i'm quite excited about to read in spanish but i think it's like way above my level but maybe i will try it so the book that I wanted to pick up is uh, by Horacio Quiroga. <laughs> I'm hoping to pronounce it a little bit correctly. And it's uh, Cuantos de Amor, or Cuentos, Cuentos de Amor, de Locura y de Muerte. And I think these are multiple short stories uh, in more like spooky and horror style. It was compiled by Penguin in 2019, but it was written, I think, somewhere in 19. 30s. Well, I'm quite excited to try to read this book because I like horror and uh, I never heard of this author before, but I saw someone recommending it and um, yeah, I was quite excited to try out the short stories. Oh, this was written in uh, 1970. Seven, 17, 1917. So uh, quite a long time ago. It's not on my list to read. Because I will first try to read El Principito, reread El Principito, and then read Harry Potter and see if my level of reading improves in Spanish and if I can read a book as this. Uh, if not, I will choose something more my level. In an ideal situation, uh, I would like to read three books in Japanese and three books in Spanish, but we will see how far 
I will uh, achieve this goal. Another goal of mine is to read books from a book club that I also read and enjoyed last year, which is A Game of Thrones, and it's hosted by uh, two YouTubers, Emmy and Caroline Marie Reads. So um, I will link them down below and you can check the book club out. They have uh, six books for this year, very interesting books, and some of them are already on my list and some of them I will try to read. So yeah, that would be nice to add these six books also to my reading list. And yeah, that's kind of it for my reading goal. So then I decided to pick 24 books that I really want to read this year. And some of these books have been on my reading list for like multiple years, especially the first one that I'm going to talk about. And yeah, I hope that this year I will just get through them. Uh, I thought 24 books for 2024, it should be a manageable number. However, some of these books are quite long. So yeah, we shall see how much of them I can read, but I hope all of them. So now we just go through these 24 books. I have them right beside me. Some of the books I don't have a copy of, so I will just link them or show them. The first book, like I said, <laughs> it was on my list for like, I, I think for the last five years. And it's War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. I will be reading this one in Russian. Uh, it's one book, but it's divided into tomes. I'm still like contemplating if I'm going to read it in like in the physical copy or um, on my e-reader because I like to read longer books on my e-reader, e it's just easier. Um, but I really like these books as well. And uh, this one's, do, uh, the, if you know, there's a lot of French in this book. Uh, so not only Russian, but they, the author uses a lot of French. And uh, the translation of the French uh, text is immediately on the same page in this edition. Uh, however, some other editions, also on my reader, you kind of have to go to the back or click on the link to the back to show, uh, to see the translation, uh, which I don't like because you kind of, you will be like taken out of the story. But these books do have the translation immediately on the same page, which is nice. So that's why I think I'm going to try to read it in this edition. So to give you an example, um, on the first page, we start out in French. And then immediately uh, on the end of the page, we have the translation in Russian. So um, yeah, I, I really like when books do that. But yeah, it would be nice to actually finish War and Peace in Russian this year. It's very long. I think it's almost a thousand pages. So um, yeah, I'm I'm bad with big books. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping to do it this year. Then I, a book that I don't own, uh, at least in English I don't own it, it's the... Um, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I do have it in Dutch, I think, but I really want to read it in English, so I'm going to order a new copy of it. And uh, yeah, I, I really liked the movie of Tom Sawyer when I was little, and I always wanted to read Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Um, but um, I think I started out like years ago trying to read it, but never really did. So hopefully this year I will read this at least Huckleberry Finn and maybe Tom Sawyer but yeah I'm really looking forward to read the book behind the movies that I really enjoyed as a child and then another book that I still have to order is Master and Margarita by uh, Mikhail Bulgakov and um, this one I will be also reading in Russian so I'm thinking about ordering a Russian edition that I saw on Amazon However, maybe I will just buy it on my e-reader because again, it's, it's I think, a longer book. I think it's easier than to find the Russian edition that I like in, in the e-reader. Uh, there are not a lot of copies, like physical copies that you can buy in Russian through Amazon. Uh, but I will see, maybe I will buy it through Amazon. Then one book of philosophy, it's Hiking with Nietzsche by John Carr. And it's about, I think, the hike that Nietzsche did in the Swiss Alps. And John Carr is going through that hike and while need, reading Nietzsche and thinking about Nietzsche's work. And yeah, I think it's a good introduction into Nietzsche's work. Because I do have another book on this list from Nietzsche himself. And I think I will kind of try to read those two books together. Um, I will show you later which one it is. But yeah, I, I heard a lot of good things about this book and I bought it two years ago. But yeah, I'm just waiting for the right moment to read it. And I think this year will be the right moment. Then another large book that I'm quite scared to pick up. It's in Dutch, uh, but it's actually translated from Japanese. And it's 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. 
and these are actually i think three books it's a trilogy but it's yeah i do have the edition that has all the three books in one and it's more than a thousand pages yeah it's 1273 pages so i don't know in which month i'm going to read it maybe i will start this one in april and yeah i'm, I'm kind of don't want to read it on my e-reader because I want to make some notes and I'm really excited for this book. So I'm thinking to use this copy. However, it's, it's just too big. Like, uh, I don't know how I'm going to get through it, but I'm very excited as well. This book has definitely been on my list for, I think, more than five years. I have owned it for quite a while and every time I'm thinking of picking it up, but then because it's so long, I don't do it. So <laughs> this year I'm not going to be scared by its length and just pick it up. Then we have a short book that I'm also very excited about. It's uh, Rosa Marie's Baby by Ira Levin with an introduction by Chuck Palahniuk, which is also an author that I want to read from. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a classic. It's a horror classic. And I'm excited to actually read it. I have seen the movie, uh, I think the newer version, uh, or it was like a mini series, but um, I didn't really enjoy it. So I'm hoping that the book is better and I hear that the book is a lot like better. So, and it's not too long. Like I like my books in this format. Let me see the next on the list is also 1984, <laughs> but then of course the famous one from George Orwell. And I think the one from Haruki Murakami does reference this book because it's kind of the same title, but it's different. And again, this is one of those books that I wanted to read for a long time. And I did start reading it uh, a while ago. Um, I think not this edition, by, but on my e-reader. But then I just stopped reading it. So I bought this version. I like this edition. Uh, it's also a penguin edition. And I do have the animal farm in this edition as well. And George Orwell's writing is like really enjoyable. His style is not too difficult. He doesn't use too difficult words uh, when it's not necessary, but he's very good at explaining the story. I loved uh, Animal Farm and some of his essays that I read. So yeah, I think this book is also something that I really like. And of course it's a classic that you kind of have to read. And I also really like dystopian novels. So I think I cannot go wrong with this one. Then I have another like contemporary horror classic, which is American Psycho by Brad Easton Ellis. Right now in January, uh, and still now, I'm reading his newest book, The Shards. And at first I, I thought I was going to like it, but <laughs> unfortunately it's not the book for me. So I'm really hoping that American Psycho will be better. And I think, yeah, it's, it's a modern classic, not for nothing. A lot of people like this book, however... There's also a lot of people that do not like this book, so it's um, his writing style is a bit different and you kind of have to get used to it. But so far in the shards, there are some things that I really don't like. Um, but yeah, maybe this book will be better and fortunately it's not as long as the shards. So I think it's better. This one is around 400 pages, still quite long, but a better amount than 600 pages. Then I have one science fiction book by uh, the brothers Arkady and Barry Strogatsky. I read Roadside Picnic a couple of years ago and I loved it. So this year I want to read Monday Starts on Saturday. It's also a book that has been on my shelves for a while now. And um, yeah, I really like their writing style and their stories. So I'm hoping this one will be just as interesting. And again, not too big, ideal format. This one is around 230 pages. A perfect size. Then I have a collection of classic horror short stories or tales. There's one in particular that I want to read is The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. Uh, that one is in here, but there are also older stories that I really like that are in here. So maybe I will also read the yellow wallpaper, but at least The Turn of the Screw should be read this year. I have I also had that book on my list for a while now and every time I didn't have a copy, so now I have this book and it contains the story. So now I don't have any uh, excuses not to read it. Then another horror ghost story is um, actually called Ghost Story by Peter Straub. Uh, this will be my first book from Peter Straub, uh, but I hear that he is a very good writer, kind of similar to Stephen King. And so I'm just kind of want to find out <laughs> how his writing style is. And I think this book is one of his... Uh, most famous one. So also a book that I had now for two or three years on my bookshelves and I'm always looking at it and like I want to read it but I don't pick it up. So now this year I'm going to pick it up 
it's a little bit on the longer side also 500 pages hopefully it's uh, suspenseful and then we have a very long book as well <laughs> that was also something that i wanted to read for a while but um yeah the size is just it's it's big the stand by stephen king i don't have any older stephen king books for this year I've read a lot of Stephen King and uh, this is something that I'm looking forward to because it's one of his best works as I understand, like his masterpiece. And um, a couple of years ago I read The It, or just It, uh, also a longer book, and I really liked it. So I'm, I'm, I hear that The Stand is even better. It's a Stephen King classic, so I have to read it. And I really like this edition. It's, um, it's a paperback, but it's kind of cool. So. I don't know when I'm going to read it. I think in autumn. I, I will try to read it in autumn. However, I think I'm going to need more than a month to get through it. So I have to time it. I have two books on the list that I don't have a copy yet of. Um, one of them is a biography of Shirley Jackson. It's called Shirley Jackson, A Rather Haunted Life by Ruth Franklin. So I hear that's the best uh, Shirley Jackson biography. And um, yeah, I really want to read it. I'm a huge fan of Shirley Jackson. I just want to know more about her life and her work and uh, how she came about to write these stories and make up these amazing characters. So I'm hoping that this biography will be good. And also, uh, I do have this book, uh, Snow by Orphan Pamuk. I just forget to pick it up, but it's somewhere on my shelves behind me. And this one is by a Turkish author. I don't know what it is about, but um, I know that I read the back of the book when I got it and uh, it sounded very interesting. It was on my radar for a while, so I'm thinking of reading it this year. And then I have another philosophy book, which is by Nietzsche, uh, Beyond Good and Evil. I'm going to read this one together with Heike with Nietzsche and hopefully Heike with Nietzsche will help me along to get through this book. And I wanted to read Nietzsche now for a while because it's a very famous, of course, philosopher, a very much talked about philosopher. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how his work is written and the things that he's talking about. And I think this is a good book to start in, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I have to find out. I think it will be a difficult book to get through. Then a kind of strange book for me. Uh, I don't know much about it, uh, but it was mentioned by two books that I've read before in the book itself. <laughs> and it's um, Against Nature or Are Bois by Joris Karl Huismans. And I understand that this is like very aristocratic and corrupt book <laughs> about someone who is very corrupt and aristocratic and just living his life for all the pleasures out there. Uh, that's what I hear about it, so I don't know if it's actually this way, but um, I wanted to, yeah, decadent uh, and aristocrat, so it's it's on the back. So <laughs> I was interested in reading uh, what this book is about and why it was so influential for, uh, for example, uh, Oscar Wilde, who is probably mentioning this book in Dorian Gray. However, it's not the title, it's never actually said in the book, but um, the rumors are that it's about this one. And it was also another book that I read that was very, very obsessed with this book. So I put it on the list. Uh, otherwise, I will never pick it up probably uh, because it doesn't really sound something that I would pick up on my own. But yeah, because it inspired all the books, I want to read it. So and it's not too long. It's a classic, a Pink and Classics edition. Um, I don't really like the cover. It's it's very decadent, but who knows? Maybe it's interesting. I have too large of a pile of books, so I hope it won't fall. Then I have The Stranger by Albert Camus. This one was on the reading list of the A Game of Thrones book club for last year. I haven't read it, so I wanted to read it this year. I have read another book by Albert Camus a while ago, um, which is The Plague. I didn't like it, <laughs> and I don't know if I would really like this one. But I want to read it to find out. A lot of people mention this book when it's like when they're talking about philosophy and nihilism. So I just want to find out for myself. So we have a couple of more books to get through, but we're almost at the end. Um, <laughs> then I have The Awakening by Kate Chopin. Chopin. Uh, it's also a book from the A Game of Thrones book club that I didn't get to read uh, last year. And I was very excited to start it. Um, I cannot tell you what it is actually about. He says, Kate Chopin's stories of her stated lives and forbidden passions explored women's experience in a way that had never been done before. 
sounds interesting cannot tell you now much more about it but i will read it probably soon and again it's very short less than 200 pages and i really like these editions so yeah <laughs> Then a book that I um, am anticipating now for like three years to read, but every time I also don't pick it up and I really want to read this one in autumn, but probably in September. And it's Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I want to read all of Bronte's sister works and Wuthering Heights is like one of those ones that I <laughs> always wanted to read, just like Jane Eyre. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a, a lovely book to read in the autumnal season. So. Again, beautiful edition. And these are the English, uh, the Penguin English Library editions. Um, they also do have the hard covers, but I like the paperbacks always. I have the last book of the Lost Strings trilogy, The Return of the King. Uh, I really wanted to read this one last year, but I just, I just didn't. And uh, this year I have to read it because then I will finally finish the Lost of Rings series, which I love. And then I can start rereading it, I think, <laughs> because it's it's such a long time ago that I've read The Fellowship. Hopefully somewhere in spring I will start it, uh, because right now I'm in the middle of other longer books. So yeah, I really have to type that one. And uh, then I have On Palestine by uh, Noam Chomsky. I already mentioned it, that I wanted to read it somewhere this month. Um, it's again a short book. I really like Noam Chomsky's writing. He's also a um, link language philosopher but um he writes a lot of um, philosophy of politics and um yeah i'm i'm really interested in what he has to say about the the conflict of course so i will be picking this one up soon and this one as well it's something that i <laughs> looking forward to read it's the boss factory by ai banks i have never read anything before from this author but um a lot of people are very enthusiastic about this book it's not really horror it's more a thriller i think and for now, I don't have much more to say about it, um, but I will be reading it this month. Then I have um, <laughs> a book that I'm also not really looking forward to read, but really want to read. And it's, it sounds weird, but it's um, No Longer Human by Osamu Dazai. And I also have the manga No Longer Human by Jun Junji Ito, uh, which is the, like, the manga adaptation of this book. I want to read those together. And I also want to watch the anime um, by Junji Ito and just go through this entire phase of this um, novel. And uh, it's very depressing. Um, I already know some of Osamu Dazai's work. I've read some of his um, yeah, stories and it's very depressing. It's hard to get through, but um, also for some reason I like to read it. So I don't know when I'm going to plan this one in, but I want to read it this year. And the manga wouldn't be that much of a problem because, first of all, Junji Ito's work is always, I think, very beautiful and easy to get through and just interesting. Um, the book itself is also not too long, but it's just when you read it, you feel like very lonely and lost because that's what the author was, I think, when he was writing it. And he's very good at portraying that in his stories. So, yeah, <laughs> this too. And then I think we, yeah, we are on the last book. It's... Uh, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. I started out with Leo Tolstoy and I want to finish up with Leo Tolstoy. I don't, just don't think that I'm going to read this edition. It's way too big for no reason. Um, so I think I'm going to buy another edition that is just a little bit more comfortable to read in. Um, or maybe I will just buy it on my e-reader. But yeah, um, it does have a very nice cover, but it's just so unpractical and big. Um, but yeah, this story is very famous. Um, it's one of the most like Russian literary works that everyone has read in Russia and outside of Russia that's, who is interested in literature. So I kind of have to read it and uh, just to explore Leo Tolstoy's writing. First, I'm going to get through War and Peace and then I'm going to pick this one up. At least I hope so. So those were all the 24 books. I think it's a lot of longer books that I have to get through. So it will be a challenge, but yeah, I'm definitely planning to read all the smaller books. So the ones around 300 pages, I have to finish those at least. And then um, I'm really looking forward to read War and Peace and The Stand. So I hope <laughs> I will succeed at that. So let me know what are your plans for this year in reading? Which books do you really want to read? Or which longer books that are you also 
was like scared to pick up but really want to do this year let me know in the comments and i will see you next time uh, there won't be a january wrap up mini wrap up because i haven't finished a single book in january i was only reading the shards by brad is and alice and i almost finished it so i will do a, a book review of that book um, but the wrap up will be in feb at the end of february so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye-bye.